What up, what up, S&M Hit Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy, Sean. And hey, your girl, Mel. Yes. Welcome, S&M Squad. How welcome are you back, guys, guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, if you're having a rough day out there, let's turn around. Good energy, good content. Baby, what we got today, my Our lovely baby, wife? Today, we, got, we will be viewing... Kamala Harris lied about her black grandparents. Whoa, Nelly, no, she okay, didn't. And this is Candace Owens. Uh oh, our girl Candace. She's about to break this down for us. Yeah, she so is. I'm deep. always interested in what Candace wow. has to say. Another lie coming to the forefront. Goodness. That's not good. Not when the you know election is up next month. Yeah. You know? Alright guys, so before we get into it, smash that like button, turn on all notifications. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, let's go. Well, happy Tuesday. I can tell you guys one thing. The powers that be really did not like our episode yesterday because after we crossed half a million views in less than five hours, suddenly we got hit on YouTube with this bizarre age restriction. We've never been hit with that ever before. It said that we somehow violated the policy on graphic violence and nudity. What? <laughs> what? That's a strike. We only just read Kamala's book and pointed out a major discrepancy, mainly that her grandmother who she produced a photo of herself with, happened to die before Kamala was born. So yeah, seems a little odd, just asking questions here. Well, today we were able to secure the birth certificates and the death certificates and some marriage certificates. Whoa! That Kamala either made a huge mistake all by accident, or she outright lied because she wanted to convince the public that she was black. Do not go away, you guys, because this is about to get to Wow. Crazy. Welcome back to Candace. Whoa, no, y'all love this show. That introduction right there is crazy. <laughs> Let's go. This is scary. They got birth the certificates. The lies. Marriage certificates. They digging deep. Goodness gracious, the lies. Wow. All right, so let's recap. Yesterday, I can admit, I was completely triggered. I was triggered by the manner in which The Guardian, or a Guardian reporter rather, treated Janet Jackson in a profile piece. It was very obvious they were trying to do the wacko jacko bit again, like they did with her brother. Wow. Now, mind you, Janet Jackson brought up in her interview human trafficking, child trafficking, and the journalist then des decided to heavily imply that Janet Jackson was just nuts to pretend that we have a child trafficking issue in this country. And then when the reporter switched gears and asked her about supporting Kamala Harris as the first female black president, you know, Hollywood's all gotta get in line and support this woman or else, Jenna Jackson simply said that she had, had heard that Kamala was not black and that she was in fact Irish and the media predictably went completely crazy. I mean, here are some uh -oh. of the headlines here, NBC. Janet Jackson tells interviewer she's heard Kamala Harris is not black, echoing election disinformation. I love that word. Newsweek, Janet Jackson's Kamala Harris remarks spark black backlash. The Independent, she's not black. Janet Jackson makes oh, shocking comments about Kamala Harris's heritage. And of course, the New York Times, Janet Jackson repeats false claims about Kamala Harris's race. False claims. False claims. So to be clear, all Janet Jackson said was, quote, that's what I heard, that she's Indian that her father's white, that's what I was told. I mean, I haven't watched the news in a few days. I was told that they discovered that her father was white, okay? Hmm. That is all that she said that led to all of this craziness in the media trying to paint her like she was some sort of a psycho. And then her manager, a guy named Mo Elmarzi that I'm showing you a picture of here, he offered an apology on Janet Jackson's behalf to BuzzFeed. He said, quote, Janet Jackson would like to clarify her recent comments. She recognizes that her statements regarding Vice President Kamala Harris's racial identity were based on misinformation. misinformation. Janet respects Harris's dual her heritage as both black and Indian and apologizes for any confusion caused. She values the diversity that Harris represents and understands the importance of celebrating that in today's society. Janet remains committed to promoting unity and understanding, end quote. All right. And guess what happened? Janet Jackson fired him immediately and said he was not authorized to make that statement at all. <coughs> and she was not apologizing because she was not sorry and good for her. Stand up. Whoa. I'm Stand up. Finally. So fake, having to apologize for something that should not have yielded any response from the media. In fact, it should have been the opposite. They should have went ahead and 
investigated the claim that Kamala Harris is black, got into the bottom of it fully. But instead, it was a new pylon. And then, after being fired, Mo added to that pylon by referring to Janet Jackson as unbalanced. Like, the person who just worked wow. for her came out and was like, she's unbalanced. I mean, with friends like that who needs enemies. Mm. Then came me. I don't know. I guess I really am the person that has been in these streets, Kamala, because I decided to simply look into her genealogy because why on earth is the world trying to convince me that this woman is suddenly black? Like they just decided she was black because she's running and wow. because there is evidence, Out it is blue. true, that her father grew up in Jamaica. Your race does not magically change because of where you grow up, okay? If I grow up in Sweden, I don't get to suddenly say I'm white, okay? And what I discovered was quite startling. Now, I'll ask you, when did you first get the idea that Kamala was black? Well, you'll say, yeah, when she kind of started running with Joe Biden. And that claim really came from Kamala herself. When they say a picture is worth a thousand words, they understood that Kamala Harris published a book in 2019 called The Truth That We Hold. And presumably the book was filled with truth that she was holding. Mm. I had a look through it and I saw this picture of her and her grandmother. Clearly a black looking grandmother on page 282 in the photograph section. Okay. It reads, as in you Jamaica. can see, visiting my paternal grandmother, Beryl, in Jamaica. Also on that same page, there's another photo of her. Again, you can see it's, it's black and white. I'm not quite sure why it is black and white, but it says, when I was 10 months old, I visited Spanish town, Jamaica. This is me with my mother and my paternal grandfather, Oscar Joseph. And now this guy looks mixed. He looks Asian of some description, but you can see the idea here is that she's definitely trying to introduce in a, in a manner of photos, things that make her race look more complicated. So I just decided to investigate that and immediately things got weird, very weird. Wow. Because it was very easy for me to, determine, to, me to determine via just a light search online that Beryl, her alleged paternal grandmother that you just saw died four years before Kamala was born what? in 1960. So last night we decided to continue our research to see if we could find birth certificates and marriage certificates and death certificates, which could further signify those points. And indeed it did. And it also raised Goodness even more gracious. questions about her genealogy. So, so let's lady? go through those. <laughs> Here is the birth certificate for her paternal grandmother. This is Kamala's paternal grandmother, Beryl. Okay, now you can see on this birth certificate that Beryl is spelled with an I. It's Beryl Magdalene. And you can see the reason why we know this is the correct Beryl is because the mother is listed as Iris Finnegan. Later on, we're going to show you in the book, she names Iris Finnegan as her great grandmother. So that would be Beryl's mother. So we have the right woman. Also, formerly, her maiden name is Alan. That is true. It also says here that she's born in October of 1917 in St. Anne. That's the St. Wow. Anne Parish of Jamaica. And again, okay. you can see it says that it is signed by Iris Finnegan. Very clearly, this is the woman that we are looking for. This is Kamala's grandmother, alleged grandmother, Beryl. It's also interesting, by the way, that it lists her great grandmother as a seamstress because Donald Harris, Kamala's father, wrote in a 2020 piece called Reflections of a Jamaican Father, quote, Miss Iris, that, that again would be his grandmother, was the mother of eight children, too, was the sweetest and gentlest person one could meet, but underneath it was a tough farming woman who ran the cane farm at Thatch Walk near Town, jointly owned with her husband, Mr. Christie. Okay, that's weird. So you're mm. telling me that she ran a farm because on that birth certificate, it says that actually Iris was a seamstress, but whatever, let's just park that aside for a second right, and now. stick with Beryl, this woman who died before Kamala was born, okay? Because I was feeling pretty certain that not too many people were gonna be named Beryl and be born in the St. Anne Parish of Jamaica in 1917 to a mother named Iris Finnegan, I felt confident that we could find a little bit more data, and in fact, we did, okay? okay. First, we stumbled across Beryl's marriage certificate, okay? So you can see that right here, and now the name spelling has changed. You have Beryl Finnegan spelled with a Y in the same way that Kamala spells it, and it lists their married date as 1944, 
Again, you can see um, the parish that is listed is St. Anne Parish. This is where every piece of Beryl's life seems to take place. Okay. It reads here that her calling is a barmaid. Um, and something that jumped out at me was the fact that she's married to someone, as you can see, named Lawford Newland. Okay, so Beryl apparently was married more than once because Lawford Newland is not Donald Harris's father, but Beryl is his mother. So just to be clear, again, it says that she married a guy named Lawford Newland in 1944 okay. when she was 25 years old, okay? It's important to note that that would have been four years after she gave birth to Donald Harris, which wow. is Kamala's father. father. Right, Kamala's father. I find that to be very strange. Yeah. Also, regarding Kamala's father, um, we cannot seem to locate, I'm sorry, regarding Lawlin Newland, the person that she married, we can't find him. Can't find him anywhere. We cannot find a birth certificate. We cannot find mm. a death certificate. We can't find a news item or otherwise. I cannot find this alleged Lawford Newland that apparently her grandma got married to. We also can't find a wedding certificate for Beryl and Oscar Wilde Joseph Brown Harris. That is allegedly supposed to be Donald Harris's father. Okay, so Kamala's grandfather is Oscar Wilde Joseph Brown Harris, and we can't find okay. a marriage certificate between the two of them. That's very strange. As That's speculated, strange. we were able to confirm that Kamala's black grandmother that she showed us in that picture died in 1960. Before, mm. Kamala was before she was born. born. I can show you what right in the, now. What's so going on? Let's take a look at Beryl's death certificate, which confirms. As you can see there, it says that she died in July of 1960. It also tells us on the right-hand side, um, you guys will probably have to zoom in on this, but she died of uh, a uterine infection, uterine fibroids due to a hysterectomy. Uh, wow. It has her listed as 39 years. That's actually a couple of years off from 1917, so somebody may have gotten their math wrong here. Uh, but you once again see that it lists her birthplace as St. Anne. And so oh, this my. is a huge scandal just an absolutely huge scandal uh, a hole in wow. there. Ella Harris yeah, yeah, yeah. published right. in her book that she was standing next to her grandma Beryl but grandma Beryl died in 1960 four years before the lies so who is that so who the hell the is lies grandma Beryl Probably a neighbor. Who is that woman standing was next to her? It was probably neighbor? the neighbor of the grandma. You know what I noticed about that woman standing next to her? She looks a lot like the woman that Kamala claims in her book is her great grandmother, Iris. Now that's Iris Finnegan. Here's the book with my great grandmother, wow. Iris Finnegan in Jamaica. Now I'm going to give you the side oh. by side of Iris and her yes, alleged yes. daughter, Barry, uh, who died at 39. Now that okay. woman on the right is not 39 years old. She's clearly much more advanced in her age. She would I mean, look, we know she black don't look crack. that young, though. I mean, that's just a scientific fact. So I would put that woman um, on the right-hand side who she tried to pass off as Beryl and I think is the exact same person. I would say that that woman looks to be about 65. And then it looks like she's more advanced on the left-hand side. The great grandmother, that's the same wow. person when I just believe my own eyes. We're looking at the yeah, same, same person. Most definitely. What do you guys think when you look at those that's photos? That's the same person. How the hell does a person wow. who is the vice president of the United States pass off a book, claim that these people that are in her book are her black relatives, and nobody bats an eyelash or does even a peripheral search to recognize that the woman that she put forth is implausibly her grandmother? And by the way, I'm going to say this, and people can be offended, but the first thing that I thought when I saw the photo of her sitting on her great-grandmother's lap was that this doesn't look like a grandparent affection going on here. Like This woman looks like she could be working for the family. Quite literally, I thought to myself, this woman looks wow, like she, she could does. be the help. And I thought that because she of She does in this photo. You know what I mean? She's not holding the baby closely. She isn't. Like a woman I really get where she's coming from. It's like she said that. she's like the nanny. She looks like yeah. the nanny. Yep. Um, hold this baby. Let's take a picture real fast. Wow. Man, Candace, she really goes in. Here we go, guys. Yes, she Let's does. Let's continue. Here we go. 
standing next to her. And I obviously know that that was a circumstance. When you're talking about a family that had a ton of plantations, which is the reality. She descends from Irish slavers. That is a fact that Kamala Harris cannot deny. She descends from wealthy Irish slavers wow. who virtually owned, they did own the town. They named the town. It was Hamilton Town, then it was Brownstown in Jamaica. He had over 1,000 slaves, okay? It would follow that there would be help Goodness around the gracious. house. And I'm just gonna put here as a question mark, not as a fact. If they're looking at some of these photos of people who became like family and they're trying to pass them off like relatives, again, not a fact, a huge question mark, but my instinct tells me that that person is actually not her family member. And if it is, well, Kamala's got some explaining to do. How did she meet Grandma Beryl almost 20 years after Grandma Beryl died? After. Wow. Kamala Harris looks to be about 20 in the that photo that she presented. Scandal. Then there's an, another bit of a mystery, as I said, if Beryl married after her or before her wedding when she was 25 years old to the missing uh, Newland, if anybody can find Newland, please, Newland, please let me know. But if Beryl married at some point Oscar Wilde Joseph Brown, where is their marriage certificate? Or and where no is their divorce certificate certificate? Again, I'm only prodding the narrative here because I'm going to need proof that she's black. The media has now made this a thing, and now you made it so much of a thing that you're attacking people like Janet Jackson when she asks a very reasonable question that you should be able to respond to. And now we have a verifiable lie that Kamala Harris told in her book, or a big uh oh, because, you know, if I'm being nice, I guess sometimes you think when you're publishing a book that it's a photo of you and your grandmother that you never met, mm -hmm. never could have met. Maybe Kamala was just confused and thought it was her grandma, but it was a grandma that she had, again, really? never met. Mm -mm. Media should be <laughs> on this, and they should be asking her this question. How did you make this significant of a blunder in your book? And isn't it quite ironic that every photo that you have presented, two of which look like they're the exact same person, one aged on, which begs the question, is that even Kamala Harris in her lap? I, I don't know. Again, we're at the beginning of this investigation. But it's interesting that of, amongst all of the relatives, so many Irish white slavers, the only photos that she chose to put in this book are the ones that make it look as though she might be black. And we have just wow. significantly and without question debunked one of those I was photos. about to say, she debunked also, the lies. Also, something else that I notice about Beryl and Oscar, this alleged married couple right, our alleged husband and wife. Each of them are listed as having a lot of siblings. Oscar's siblings are named Hildred May Harris, mm. Newton Alexander Harris, and Ina Doreen Harris. I cannot find a single photo of these siblings. Now, why am I looking for it? Well, because people take proof. family photos all the time. Tons of this stuff, tons of this stuff is on the internet. I mean, one of those people lived until 2005. Ina Doreen Harris allegedly lived until 2005. I would just like to see a photo to confirm that these are black relatives. I just want to confirm their race. Wow. Can't find a trace. Similarly for Beryl. It should be that hard to find a trace. Too. Their names are Abraham Judah Finnegan, Noah Pendergast Finnegan, Bernard Washington Finnegan, and Gloria Eugenie Hill. Where are they? Or where are any photos of them, presuming that they've, they've passed? Where are okay. the photos of them? We've got to be somewhere, right? Something very suspicious is going on. I don't know how yeah. it is plausible, guys. Do not allow the media to gaslight us. It is not difficult, okay, mm -hmm. for a person that is running for president of the United States to have a tidy background. This is my mom. This is my dad. This is my grandma. Right. That it always seems to be the case that right before they run, they introduce like one or two photos that they allege are from their childhood. This is my grandma, this is my mom, and if you ask any more questions, I'm gonna scream at you and call you a racist, is completely ridiculous. Right. Yeah. We now have a scandal on our hands, okay? And again, this is the tip of the iceberg. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep looking for these relatives, I'm gonna confirm that wow. all of these people are in fact black. I find it strange, just as a little tidbit, that when you go on these genealogy websites, you can see that there's somebody managing the profile. All of the people that are managing the profile for Kamala's relatives are white. 
What interest would white people around the United States have in managing the profile for this Jamaica family? Unless, Mm. well, unless what Janet Jackson said was true. (laughs) And that these are her white Irish relatives. And she's been hiding that fact by trying to introduce some <clears throat> random photos of a woman and oh, pretending that that woman is her grandmother. Again, if she's been with you throughout your entire life, Kamala, you could drop some more photos. But no matter like what, you lied in your book. Right. She okay? said her you grandma died that woman before she was died born. in 1960. And you were born in 1964. And I find that to be Please. extremely problematic. Like I said, yes. I'm in these Very streets. Disturbing. Just like you, Kamala. She's come on, Candace. Come out and tell the truth. <laughs> I'm going to be on this. Otherwise, you might as well come up with your storyline because I don't tend to let go when wow. I'm wow. percent of somebody who's telling a lie. All right, guys. Woo! We have here. I want to remind you about uh, Gold Co. This election season Woo! has been insane. We really don't know. All right. Who's going to win in November. Let's stop it right there. Let's stop it right oh, there. Oh, my goodness. Um, wow. I like the fact that she went and got her <laughs> she went in. facts. She, she went got her proof. In. And Goodness, she, I felt like this was a court case. Yeah. And she did a really, really good job. <laughs> you know, it was like, where's the she proof? She was a prosecutor. Why is it so hard <laughs> to find your family trail? Wow. Why did you lie in your book? Why is it hidden? Why did you say that your grandma was born four years before I mean died four years before you were born right and now it's you're presenting possible. this black woman as your grandma wow wow holding you as a baby and it's like <sighs> goodness gracious you why even your... play the black card if you know that <sighs> you're hiding things about your race why play the black card and with the with that you still might don't win I know. It, it's really sad to me. But I guess just the extra black community going out to That's vote That's not for right. Black people. Kamala. Why is she I'm playing so, us like that? I'm just so tired of this. It's time to wake up. Yeah, I mean. It is time to wake up. The jig is up. I don't think that she's black. She's Indian. I don't Indian. think that she's black. She's I think Asian. That she, yes. She made that very clear. She's the red dot. Yes. Like she said. She's Yes. She made it very clear. Like and she's Indian. I think she's just doing and this to get the. Votes. I guess she's Irish now. We're finding out. <laughs> she's Irish, right? She got some you know, Irish up in there. She <laughs> is the descendant of slave owners, plantation owners. So, but she's you know, and there's nothing wrong with that if that's your truth. But living your truth. She wants to be Jamaican, and something else. You know, this is what she's claiming. From a I mean, Jamaican family. I understand that there are, you know, Irish people in Jamaica, like Irish descent. But who are you? But why play the race card? Why play? What What is up with all of these? It's um, a game. Hidden, it's a game. It's a game. I want the most votes. It's hidden a game. agendas. I'm going to do whatever I can do to get the most votes, and I don't want to be. Um, exposed and Candace just exposed her in a way that she warned us. She said, I'm proof? coming for you, Kamala. I'm coming just for show you. me the proof. She just came for Kamala, you know. Just show me the proof. That's and like she said, people were bashing Janet Jackson for coming right. out and you know telling the truth. She her, was just speaking her mind, you know, just, just speaking opinion. her mind. And she had to fire her manager, she fire her manager. Wow. For jumping out there she went through to, a lot because you know, no one wants to hear the truth. No one wants the facts. Yes. Yep. They want fiction. They want, they the, want the animated thing that yep. sounds good. No yep. one wants to hear the truth. The and truth. that's what Candace is bringing. The truth hurts. Candace is bringing the truth. And the like truth she said, she's going to keep digging, trying to find these birth certificates, trying to. You know, fine. Yeah, I mean, out because hey, who Kamala really is? I'm a black man. I can show you, you know, my mother, grandmother, and her, her grand, her, her right. mother. So if you I, were, I go back. if you claim to be a white man, people will want to know the truth. They will want because to I see the on, proof, especially uh, if you're Santa running. Santa Claus when he was white. Especially if you're this is my father. No, right. it doesn't work like that. Especially if you're running for president. Yes, I we mean, deserve on. to know. We want to know and we need to know. We're going to know. Yeah. We're going to figure this out. 
Most definitely. Yep. But um, every day we're going to keep, you know, digging in it, digging yeah. and digging and digging until we get the truth because we need the truth. We are the American citizens. Most we need definitely. The truth. Yes. But um, I just like the way Candace worked. Um, she's yeah. just straight up and down. Yes. She's not nothing to be played with. I want to follow <laughs> Candace's series of digging up the truth. <laughs> yes, baby. I'm like, wow. She's like, she's digging. Wow. That's what's up. Alright guys, that's our time. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get inside the comment section. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know. If you guys got any more videos that you need us to react to, drop it. We're going to get straight to it. This is so much fun. Yes. Yep, finding out wow. the truth, baby. Learning new things. Sean and Mel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, before you vote, you have to know oh, yeah. who you're voting for. You can't just vote based on color. We got less than 30 days. We need yeah. to go ahead and, you know, figure out which way we want to go, which route we want to go. Because Most definitely. It's like a lot of lies over here, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's some things that's not, it's not adding up. Yeah. You know, so there's no need to lie. You know, if you lie about this, you'll lie about anything. Yeah. Why would you need to lie about your race? Yes, and wow. the truth will always come to the light. Wow, it will. All right. You know, you're trying to gain something, and I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like that. All right, guys, we up out of here. Um, you guys, please be safe out there. All, All right, guys, you. we up out of here. Peace. Peace. Nice.